Well, good afternoon. Um, I don't nearly have as big a headache as my two colleagues in planning development and housing and transport. So I'm just going to, again, start by sharing with you something that I think many of you know, because I know many of you and many of you know me. Now, my long-standing complaint. I think many of you remember I bleated about this for years. Harbour reclamation, too much, too ugly. Harbour front design, very ugly. And air quality, very bad. Now, uh, that's me walking, by the way. Uh, but I have to admit, things have improved. I just want to show this map, because I think this map is important for us to just always remind ourselves what kind of topography we have and the kind of extreme density we have in Hong Kong. And I think one of the things that both my colleagues emphasize is as the community gets older, we still want people to walk around. As we build and retrofit different parts of the city, one of the things, because we, we have so much density of people living on mountains, it's really important to get them moving around. But anyway, I won't repeat what they say, but if you were able to see, which you can't see, you know, you can see the bit here. So I'm going to return to my harbour reclamation bit. Hong Kong's reclaimed an awful lot of land by the harbour. So I think it's right only that we return that land to the people and their enjoyment. And that's one of the main points that I want to emphasize. Now, um, this is where we work in government. And this is, you know, a lot of works is going on here. In fact, this is an older photo. Uh, so one of the things that we have, many of you have been fighting for, is to make sure that the harbour is going to be connected to people. We can walk there, long promenades and so on. And I think Eric talked about, well, these things are coming and I think you know about that. Now, some of these things are already here. This has already taken place. This is already a part of West Kowloon. And this is already what we have today at the old Kai Tak area. What I find is there's so much work that is being done by the government in so many places in Hong Kong that if you haven't been there for a year or so, the next time you go, you find things are really quite different. And I personally am pleased to say that in some of the areas around the harbour, there has been significant improvement. Also, before I forget to say, harbour water is much cleaner than before. Now, this is a photograph that I showed whenever I gave a talk on air quality when I first joined the government. Good days and bad days. This is the next slide I show. Well, this is still the case. Air quality is bad for health and air pollution is a leading environmental cause for cancer. So whilst air quality is better, it is not nearly as good as we want it to be. So this is going to be a long journey. And this is what we still have in the busy parts of urban Hong Kong. Now, it is my job to remind everybody that we have done something. It's not like we haven't done anything. In the last few years, roadside pollution has been a huge target. And I've said this before, in the last four years, we've put in place probably the largest package of vehicles control schemes anywhere in the world. And we're spending nearly $12 billion of your money to do this kind of cleanup. And with that, you do see results. As I said, it's not yet good enough, but that's what it takes to actually start cleaning up roadside air quality. Now, we have very nice country parks. Country parks protection is also a part of the Environment Bureau's responsibility. Well, this is what the city looks like. We're seeing it, you know, all three of us are showing photographs. This is what it looks like from one of the country parks. 
This is what we have all over Hong Kong. You'll be walking through some of them tomorrow. These are the kind of places all over Hong Kong Island and in the New Territories. Really very significant natural assets that Hong Kong have. Great for walking, great for hiking, great for strolling. You know, great for people in Hong Kong to get out of the hustle and bustle and into a quiet, of mo a quiet moment where we can regain ourselves. This is my last slide, just to remind everybody that ambient air quality is important. We're running, we're walking, not just at roadside. We want wherever we go for air quality to be better. One key indicator of improving air quality is visibility, and visibility has improved a lot. Now, but of course, our job going forward is not to be self-satisfied, but to keep cleaning up. Thank you very much.